Chicago, Glenview, Milwaukee, Toma, Wisconsin Dells, La Crosse, Winona, Red Wing, St. Paul, St. Cloud, Cloud, Grand Forks, Devil's Lake.
So your guy lands up against the tree, the pen slips, and he even well happens to standing around as a dead man. The only thing that saved him was a knot in the tree that kept him mind from slipping down far enough to detonate. What about Sergeant Galen? How long is it going to take you to get him out of there? I can't. What do you mean? I mean, I can't get him out of there. He, he's a dead man. What are you talking about? You're the bomb smoke expert. You gotta get the man out of there. Watch yourself, Captain! Now, if I had my equipment with me, and had all my people here with me, maybe, maybe I could do something. But I don't have the equipment, people, or time, and that front's moving in, and we got to get out of this sector ASAP. I feel sorry for him, but I can't help him. How did he take it? I did tell him. Why not? Well, you see, sir, that's your job. He's your man. I just told him I would do everything I could to help him, and I have. Although, you can tell him when it happens, he won't feel a thing. <laughs> the army. Are you nuts? I thought you said your parents could pay for school. Yeah. Well, they could, I guess. But it's not that kind of money. <laughs> this way, college is free. I get a little spending money each month. You're going to be a forestry major. What does the army need a forestry major for? What are you going to do? Attack communist trees or something? Shut up. So how long are you going to the Army for after college? Four years. Four years? You're crazy. Why don't you just go work for Anderson part time for two years? Transfer to state. Then you won't have to go to the Army. I don't want to go to community college. I don't want to go to state. And I don't mind joining the Army. Get off my back. Fine. So you want to go to the lake with us after the graduation? Nah, I think I'll just stay here. It's because Susan will be going to the lake. Shut up! Man, sometimes you're just so pathetic. I'll see you after school. <coughs> Private Jorgensen will request permission to be dismissed to the game. Private Jorgensen has my permission to shove up his food. <coughs> General has a party now. See ya! He's just giving you a hard time. I know. So you really not going to the lake? Nope. <laughs> well, I think you're being really selfish because I'd really like you to be there now. Alright, I'll go. But it's gonna be late. Good. So, what are you gonna be doing in the army anyway? I don't know. I thought it might be cool to drive a tank or something. At least you get out of debt. Maybe you'll get to see the world or something. Or something. Hey, Captain. Hey, Sergeant. How you holding up? I'm fine, sir. What did the Major have to say? Well, it's a tricky situation, but he's going to do everything he can to get you out of there. You just got to go back to the regiment and get some equipment. I'm going to check on the men.
about the platoon leader who couldn't recall the difference between oil and blue smoke and called an airstrike in his own position. And perhaps you could tell me when I told you what happened the moment you got lazy in combat zone. The moment you screwed it up. Do you remember what I told you you'd find yourself in a whole world of trouble, Sergeant Major? And where are you now, son? In a whole world of trouble. But I didn't screw up. I went by the book and did everything you're supposed to do. I checked for troop wires, indentations, suspicious ground cover. I did everything you're supposed to do. I swept the area. I did my job. It, it's not my fault. Well, Private, I guess you're going to be the subject of my next lecture. How do I get out of this, Sergeant Major? You never taught me that.
tenants on Spartans. So There's some type of cold front moving real fast. Clouds, fog, maybe even some snow. Wagner, I need to go get Captain for me real quick. Right now? Yes, now. Sure thing, Sarge.
problem is, Alex has never gotten up before 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning his entire life. Next thing he knows, it's 11.45. So what's he going to do? He's just going to take a march. He's just mad about the 75 bucks he wasted. So, what you doing for Thanksgiving? Oh, we're going to my grandparents' from here. What about you? Me and my mom are going to my aunt's house this year. She's got four little kids, so it's easier for us to go to her place. What about your dad? My dad died when I was little. I'm so sorry. It happened when I was five. I barely remember him. What happened? He was killed in the war. He was in the army. I hadn't even seen him for like a year before it happened. So the whole thing's kind of weird. I'm really sorry. Uh, don't worry about it. What I really wanted to know is if maybe when you get back from Spokane, you'd like to catch a movie or something. That'd be nice. I'd like that. You're paying, right? <laughs> it's a joke. You're such a jerk! That's why all the bells love me. <laughs> Katie, Ray Solder, you take Mark on the Empire Building, okay? You tell him all about it. How he wrote all the way to the end. Together. Chicago, Glenview, Milwaukee, Potomac, <coughs> Wisconsin Dells, 
Winona, the cross, St. Paul, St. Cloud, Grand Forks, Fargo,